In the early 1970s, a frontier city nicknamed Tropical Canberra was taking off. Public servants were swarming into Darwin and builders couldn't keep up. And wherever you go in Darwin these days, into the outskirts of town, they're carving whole new estates out of the bush just like this. The city was abuzz with new faces and the cost of living was a hot topic. And what things in particular do you find very expensive? The food. This is National Television, ABC. When ABC Television came to town in 1971, Darwin was a laid-back place with a reputation for heavy drinking. Television came to Darwin in August and in six months has had a noticeable influence on the outdoor life of the Territory. In my own case, I, I couldn't afford a TV and it was um, some months after it started that I actually got one. Bill Fletcher came to the Territory as a junior reporter in 1971 and went on to run the newsroom for almost 20 years. There, there were just lots and lots of things that happened constantly up here. I, I, I try not to think about it anymore. <laughs> TV came in time to capture the changing face of the Territory in the 1970s. A push for self-government was gaining momentum. Population growth was through the roof and boatloads of refugees fleeing after the Vietnam War started arriving on Darwin's shores. With a local television station, we were now able to show our own stories, Darwin stories and to a lesser extent territory stories. But the biggest test for the new newsroom came in 1974 when Cyclone Tracy decimated the city. At this stage, the known death toll was more than 40, and the search was going on for people buried in the rubble of their home. But Darwin was a, a place of characters, a place of people with a unique way of life. I only hope the new Darwin has that character. Everyone had lost their home, and they were in this building. We sort of worked journalistically for half a day and then looked after families. It was a small group of men running the show then and Kerry Sharp was the first female reporter to work in the newsroom. I don't recall or that I was ever discriminated against as a woman, you know, it was all pretty even and I think it's, it still is in, in newsroom. For six years, news from Darwin was beamed to living rooms across Asia through the Australia Television Network. It's where Rosemary Church shot to international fame. We worked together, we played together. Uh, I just have awesome memories about all of the people. It was a great team. Hello, I'm Barbara McCarthy. Welcome to this special coverage. In the 1990s, the Territory got its first local Indigenous presenter from Borrelawla reading the flagship news. My family and people were with me and we're very proud and, you know, that brings a lot of emotion. Right, tonight's weather's exactly the same as last night's, so if you saw last night's weather, go and do something else. The box has given prominence to plenty of unique characters over the decades, like Monty Dwyer, who made the weather fun, and George Brown, who taught a hack or two about gardening in the tropics. Worms, that's what you want. Half a pound of worms there. But it was on Territory Sport, televised for more than a decade, where we celebrated what the Territory does best. Up in the islands, out in the communities, they'd see those games and, you know, would say to young people, you want to do this, you know, play this sport, here's an opportunity, this is what, this is what it looks like. For half a century, TV has captured the Territory's highs and lows for the nation to see and it's given prominence to events that decades on still capture our imagination. Our stories packed into a live news bulletin and beamed across the Northern Territory every night. Sometimes it might be two minutes to seven and our lead story isn't in yet. And so you've just got to hope and pray that it does get in and then have some sort of contingency backup plan in case it doesn't. Not bad for a faraway station that took off and succeeded half a century ago. It means a lot, it's pretty special being here at the start of it and still around 50 years on. 